Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got several items to cover. We'll hit seismicity where a re-engagement of critical areas has occurred. Hopefully, you caught last night's special video. We've got eye candy in space, paleomagnetism, and galactic magnetic fields. As we start with the last 24 hours on our star where things were pretty quiet, like a warrior meditating in a garden. We've got all the weapons, sunspots, plasma filaments, morphology, but a peaceful calm graces the Earth facing coronal longitudes. Those sunspots kept looking like they were on the verge of major development and then just halting. They have not produced significant flares or eruptions and the chances are dropping they'll do so today. Let's go next to seismicity where both the East African Rift and Santorini woke back up over the last day. Interesting that their swarms began close together, their quiescence as well, and now possibly kicking back in. Eyes on the region and nearby Campi Flegri. Speaking of volcanoes, hope you caught our video last night, took the Io supervolcano eruption, and showed you how unfathomably enormous it would be if something like that happened on Earth. Nothing close has ever happened on this planet, cool visuals, and fun facts in last night's special. Bit of eye candy up next, folks. The paper is a proposal for deeper study here and isn't discussing new findings, but with the understanding of which areas are dust versus electron radio emission caught in magnetic fields, they plan to dive deeper into the core magnetism of the galaxy like none before. We will come back to that topic. But first, excellent study focusing on the Gothenburg geomagnetic excursion. The last great event was about 12,000 years ago. Now they're using carbon and uranium dating, which tends to skew the dating backwards and forwards respectively. A couple years off doesn't change, however, the fact that yet another coring is showing the last great disaster cycle event. Now I said we'd come back to galactic magnetic fields, but this time we're not trying to scope the core or the actual magnetic and electric character of the central current sheet. What they're trying to do here is see what they see in the Milky Way but in other galaxies, and not in the disk, but above and below it. The fields extending upward and outwards from each wave peak form, and again which push outwards with a galactic Parker flow radially. Here are those fields for selected galaxies. It's the offshoot Parker instability field extension up into the poloidal system. Not all are exactly alike, but the system shape and setup has been widely adopted galactically. Folks, we have several big events in April and May. Four out of five weeks during our season kickoff, there are major weekends at Observer Ranch. Go to ObserverRanch.com for details and book your stay. Right now, you can bring your RV, rent one of ours, or try our 3D printed mini home. It's awesome. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.